Okay, guys, so this is a follow-up video on the video that I posted last week about why I'm not buying Latin American Airlines stock. So I kind of got a lot of mixed reviews on my, that last video. A lot of people said that I was being short-sighted and that uh, everything was okay. So now uh, I got a lot of messages about the stock has been delisted by the New York Stock Exchange. And the reason why I told you guys I wasn't buying the stock, even though it was going up, was for many reasons. But number one, uh, the whole purpose of investing is to grow our money with a safe level of risk. And anytime you're investing in a company that went bankrupt, I mean, they basically failed the most basic, most basic job of a company and that's to return value to shareholders. So there are literally thousands of stocks guys out there with the NASDAQ at an all-time high. There's really no reason to even touch a bankrupt company in my opinion. I mean, there's you've got stocks like Nikola Motor that are soaring. You've got stocks, uh, all of these like uh, NASDAQ penny stocks have been taking off recently. You know, airline stocks, cruise stocks are up a ton, hotel stocks, REITs. I just don't see the reason to mess around with a company that's bankrupt. So as you, got, as you can see guys, we can see here this was posted uh, yesterday. It says New York Stock Exchange to spend trading in LATAM Airlines. The New York Stock Exchange announced that the staff in New York uh, Stock Exchange regulation is now determined to immediately suspend trading in the ADRs, representing one share of common stock of Latin American Airlines, ticker symbol LTM. So guys, I told you that they had already commenced the, the proceedings to delist this company. That's why I wasn't buying the stock. And the company confirmed that they would not even exercise a right to even uh, fight this, this decision. So the company is now delisted. So for a lot of you guys that trade on apps like Robinhood and stuff like that, um, if you try to search for the stock, you can't even find it anymore. And uh, Robinhood, you're only allowed to trade stocks on the New York Stock Exchange or NASDAQ. You can't trade OTCs on Robinhood. So what is going to happen to this stock? Well, the fact that the company's bankrupt, my guess is that they're going to reorganize this stock, uh, relist under the OTC, adding a Q to the symbol. And, uh, you know, I'm not 100% sure, but I got pretty burned when this happened to JCPenney. And I know some of you guys are saying, oh, it's a different situation. But um, my guess is you're probably going to lose your investment, guys. So this is just one of the reasons why I think it's really, really important before you buy a stock to do a tiny bit of research. Even just even even if you're just doing 10 to 15 minutes, you know, make sure the company is not filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. Make sure there's no accounting fraud and things like that. Uh, I know a lot of people on Robinhood guys are liking to trade penny stocks like that, but there's literally thousands of stocks to choose from. You know, you don't have to risk your money here. So if some of you guys have, some of you guys, I know the stock's pretty cheap. You might have a thousand, five thousand shares of LTM maybe on your Robinhood account. Um, well, you can't trade OTC stocks on Robinhood. So um, chances are you're going to lose your investment. And I'm not 100% sure on this. I'm going to make another follow-up video. But that's why I try when I see, I try to check Robin Tracks every day to kind of see what stocks people are trading on Robinhood. And when I see a lot of people buying up a stock that I think is in big danger, I try to warn you guys to stay away from it. So I also said the same thing about Hertz. I, I, I said uh, to stay away from Hertz stock. That stock's probably going to get delisted tomorrow too, guys. So just, just remember that, you know, even when you're trading, short term and things like this with stocks even when you see a stock like uh you know latin american airlines you see it go up as you can see here you know if you were looking at the recent charts you saw the stock you know went up from around the one dollar to three dollar range just remember that um these are these are stocks represent shares of real businesses so when you purchase a stock even if you're trading it like you're making uh, basically an agreement to own a portion of the company so if something bad happens to that company and you're a shareholder, well, something's bad happening to you. So just remember that in the future, guys, uh, it's really unfortunate what's going on right now, but a lot of companies are going to be filing for bankruptcy in the next couple of months. So I'm going to do my best to cover stocks when I give you guys stock recommendations. And when I say I'm buying something, I do my best to go over the balance sheets, to go over the income statements, to make sure the company has plenty of cash, to make sure the company has decent retained earnings. And if they don't have great retained earnings, to make sure that they have enough money, uh, whether they're raising money through bonds, whether they're issuing more stock. I try to give you companies that I think are going to stay afloat for at least 
until the next couple of years. So this is really unfortunate what's happening, guys. But um, you know, I learned my lesson. It's happened to me, and it's it's happening to lots of other people, and it's going to continue to happen in the future. So just make sure when you're buying something, just remember first, your first goal as an investor is to earn a return uh, on your investment with a safe, limited amount of risk. If you guys are looking for unlimited risk, you'd be better off, you know, gambling and uh, betting on uh, sports or, or going to the casino or something like that. So I hope this video provided some value for you guys. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'm going to be posting more updates on LTM stock as it's probably going to be reissued on the OTC and they're going to probably add a queue to it. But uh, for you guys holding the stock now, it's uh, most likely you're just out of luck, but it's just a learning lesson guys And you know, it's just something you learn from you bounce back and next time you just make sure it doesn't happen again So that's it until next time guys. Take care